Hello, this is Oleg from Experimental Avionics and today I'm going to show you my little Ethis. Uh, the device is built based on Arduino boards, very nice and very cheap uh, piece of electronics that can be uh, attached to a number of sensors and a little LCD screen like this and display all the flight parameters that you require in your aircraft. Uh, this one has uh, everything, pretty much everything jammed into little 4 inch screen. Um, it has airspeed indicator here, altitude indicator, magnetic heading, uh, uh, slip ball here and vertical speed indicator. It also has UTC time um, and flight timer. Flight timer uh, is a really handy thing to have. Uh, it starts um, counting time as soon as you reach flyable speed. Uh, let's say your aircraft uh, gets airborne at, let's say, 35 knots. You set it in the menu and as soon as you airborne it starts counting your time. And as soon as you land and your speed falls below uh, 35 knots, it stop counting. Uh, it also has artificial horizon here. It's not like it's re you really need it in VFR aircraft, but everyone has it, so and it's a really cool thing to have. It also have little G meter here. Um, shows you your vertical G loading and. Um, this little numbers here to the right of the G meter is your uh, pitch angle. So let me see, we're going up and say seven degrees up. Like that. And to the left of the G meter, there is a roll angle indicator. So we turn roll to the left. And it says 14 degrees to the left and to the right. I'm not really sure why I need it, just because I can. Now it has, um, device has a little control here to set QNH. To set QNH, you just press on this uh, little button and turn it twist it to get your QNH right and press it again to store it. There is also uh, a little fly data recorder here. Uh, it's not the best cutting of the box but will do. Um, it records data, all the fly data on little SD card like this. All the parameters like your airspeed, uh, your heading, altitude, roll, pitch, uh, uh, your G loading, QNH, vertical speed, pretty much everything. And it can record it every second, every half a second, at whatever rate you want. Uh, if you record it every second, this little card will last you for about 1000 hours. That's long enough. It has a menu here, you could press and hold this button for about two seconds. We come to the menu. Uh, here you can set your time. Let's say you just adjust the time like this. If you want to adjust your uh, air switch minimum speed, I just go here, press the button and turn it so you get your the speed you want. Let's say we get airborne 40 knots. There you go. And to save it all and go back to the main screen, just navigate to exit and press the button again. The device currently powered through USB port here, but it also has just normal power jack or uh, can be powered from uh, 
any other external source uh, between 6 and 20 volts. On the back side here it has ports for static and pipa tubes. In the next video I'll show you how to build this type of ethos for your aircraft. It is actually very very simple. All you need is Arduino board, uh, Arduino Mega 2560, you will need LCD screen, something like this, 4 inch screen, and bunch of um, sensors like this. And also a case. Of that's about it thank you for watching